You've finished this mission, the reward is 3,000 origin points, returning to the main world. I'm finally back. Master, you spent the rest of your time preaching around Tao Tu world. I was worried that the remaining enemies from the Mingqin sect would come to make trouble, but nothing happened. Even if they want to make trouble, they don't have the power to do that. After all, I've defeated the immortal. And even if someone still doesn't give up, Dang Lin and the others will handle it. Speaking of which, the Night League was very efficient. It has only been two months since you won the battle. And the Night League has completely taken place of the Mingchen sect. After all, the Night League has been preparing for this for many years. And they have made full preparations in the cities near Taodu city in advance. Naturally, they can restore order quickly. You're right, I've been with Deng for another two months. And now I feel that I'm as strong as Mei Lung of that evil woman. Hasn't Sky Ceiling Sword come back with you? I really like that sword. Sky Ceiling Sword. Well, there's a special situation. Mr. Xie, are you determined to leave? Could you stay longer? I know you're worried that the immortals will come back and destroy this world. But without the tree, it is almost impossible for the immortals to step into this world now. We have done what we can. And the rest can only depend on the will of heaven. What's more, it's not up to me whether I can stay or not in this world. As I said before, I also need to deal with my own business here. Now that everything has been completed... I'll leave after destroying the heavenly contract. Leave? Are you going to return to the mysterious Xianhuang world you mentioned before? Ha ha ha, in the past two months, I did plan to go to another world to have a look. However, I can't find the passage to other worlds after the tree was burned down. Perhaps it is because the thunder tribulation has consumed the power of this world to open the passage, and the power needs to be slowly accumulated. I can only wait for the next opportunity. As for where I'm going, you don't have to know, you won't understand even if I tell you, unless you can ascend to another world by yourself one day, there's no point in knowing so much. After I leave, Xie Yan's body will die again, and the shell of the sky ceiling sword will also be left. This is the legacy of Xie Yan, the real leader of the Night League. You can deal with it according to his behest. Although I am the one who fought with you until the end, he is the one who bet everything and had worked with the Night League for years, compared to me. He deserves to be remembered in this world. I see, then I'll keep the shell of the sky ceiling sword for you too. If there is a talented disciple of the Night League, maybe he can inherit this sword in the future. If there is no one who can inherit it, I'll take this sword with me when I ascend to the upper world. Maybe I can return it back to you personally. Haha, ha, if you ascend to the Zanhuang world, you probably won't see me. But I can't tell. No one knows what will happen in the future. To be honest, as a partner or a subordinate, Deng Lin is really reliable, leaving the shell of the sky ceiling sword to her. I feel like I can get it back sooner or later. Special situation? What do you mean, master? Don't worry, I'll give you a surprise later. Let me check the fruits of my victory first. I had a good harvest in the small world this time, although I almost used up all the origin points when I withstood the wood thunder tribulation with living weapon. I collected them back in the remaining two months and even got more. Unfortunately, it's an ancient world. It's limited in all respects. When can the system allow me to travel to the interstellar civilization world with a population explosion? It would be better if there's a galaxy-level internet, so I can get millions of origin points by live broadcasting. Now I have so many origin points, I'm gonna upgrade some of my cultivation methods. What the hell? More than 20,000 origin points are not enough for me to upgrade a cultivation method? This inflation is not right. System. As I expected, Sky Ceiling Sword is in an abnormal state now. It's okay. I'll check my spiritual roots first. The system gave me the metal spiritual root and the water spiritual root, which is the same as when I was in the small world. Spiritual root is a completely independent skill in the main world. It has no effect on not only the demonic art of moral but also the finger of flowery swords. Good. With the spiritual roots, I can feel that there's psychic power in the main world as well, which is even stronger than that in Taudu world but it's impossible for me to resonate with heaven and earth and let psychic power surge outside my body. The rules of the main world are too strict. Speaking of power accumulated in my body, the cultivation methods in Taudu world are obviously inferior to the martial arts of the main world. This kind of method, which can only burst out its power by resonating with heaven and earth, is very useless in the main world unless... Unless I can take control of the sky ceiling sword again and restore my transmutation stage cultivation base. Come out, Sky Ceiling Sword. Master, is this Sky Ceiling Sword? 
I thought you left it in the small world. I left its shell in the small world. As for its core, namely the transmutation sword energy, it has been integrated with my soul, so it can naturally follow me back. Although it's not complete, it's also at the transmutation stage, which is enough for me to merge with the sword. Does that mean that you can create a new sky ceiling sword in the main world? Theoretically, I can do it, but the sword in the small world was refined by the original Xie Yan who made Night League put all the effort into collecting the precious materials from heaven and earth. I'm not worried that there are no suitable materials in the main world, but it will take time to collect them. By the way, without its shell, I feel that the sky ceiling sword is more strange to me. It's light in my hand, and I even can't feel it. I have to refine a shell for it as soon as possible. Although there is a method to refine the sword, I haven't personally practiced it. I don't know if I can do it well only by relying on the memory of the small world. I'm afraid that the transmutation sword energy will become a waste one if I refine it into rubbish. Master, are you going to start refining the sword now? Of course not, Chinger. Don't interrupt me. I have to deal with it carefully. I have to think it over. But it has gone into that sword. Hey, stop. This is a short sword used to decorate the room and exorcise evil spirits. It only costs two tails of silver. If you are bound to this rubbish, I will cry immediately. Ha, huh, it's broken. Oh, I was so anxious that I forgot a thing. The original Xie Yen didn't refine it successfully in one go. He also made countless useless swords. In other words, the sword energy of the Sky Sealing Sword would not be bound by its shell. The Sky Sealing Sword carries the realm with its energy and the path authority with its shell. The two of them complement each other but are also independent. A shell of a sword that is not as good as the original shell of the Sky Sealing Sword can't display its full strength. But that's all. Listen up, you must follow the rules when you are with Master you can't lose control and Kalise trouble to Master. Otherwise, Master will beat you hard on the head. This sword collapsed because its material was too poor to withstand the transmutation sword energy. It shouldn't be too difficult to find a sword that can be used for a while, right? This is good. I can slowly collect and test the precious treasures from heaven and earth. Maybe one day I can break through and make a new sky ceiling sword at the extra level. As for now... I'll send Sky 7 and Sky 12 to find some superior casting materials and try to refine a new Sky Sealing Sword. Five days later. Cold Iron Mine, Crimson Iron Essence, and Dark Chalcedony. The quality of this batch is much better than that of the last one. It seems that the Bloodthirst sect is very rich. Although these materials are not unparalleled, ordinary sword casting masters would envy me. Unfortunately, the hardness of the shell is still not strong enough to carry the transmutation sword energy of the sky ceiling sword even for a while. I can't go on like this. Maybe I have to take a risk to try that thing. Master, is it really okay to refine it with the evil seed? It's very dangerous. The evil seed is an extremely dangerous thing for any living creature, which will completely distort its will. However, when it is used to refine weapons, its danger is reduced to the minimum, because weapons are dead things and dead things will not be eroded by the evil will. In addition to distorting living creatures' will, the evil seed can also help to strengthen power. These sword-casting materials can only barely carry the transmutation sword energy of the sky-sealing sword after being strengthened by the evil seed. Even if the sky-sealing sword becomes an evil sword, I can still control it. Moreover, with the shell of the sword, the evil power can hardly affect me. Just like when you swallowed up the smell of beauties, I was rarely invaded again. It's working. It's almost done. Born of metal. Take earth as its mother, mix water and fire, and gather chi to refine wood. Sword of the five elements. Metal merges with water. This feeling is the same as the feeling when I was in the small world. It is the feeling of merging with the sword. This is... The path of sword of the main world? This is too exaggerated. If the path of sword in Taudu world is like a small planet, then the path of sword in the main world is undoubtedly a giant fixed star. The difference between the two is impossible to calculate. Sect leader said that although the aura at level 7 of the pre-celestial stage can't show up in the world, as long as I find my own path, I can feel it. But now, even though I have found the path of sword in the main world, I still can't feel any aura at level 7 of the pre-celestial stage. Along the way, I did find that unless the realm matches, I can't feel any different level of aura of heaven and earth. I can only barely distinguish the level of second-hand aura in the body of someone at the pre-celestial stage. Is it because I'm not a native of the main world? Imparting Elder and you said that aura is helpful for cultivation. I'd begun my cultivation a long time ago, but I've never got the benefit from the aura. 
others will first perceive the aura of heaven and earth at the next level and then improve their realm. On the contrary, I improved my realm with the help of the system first, and then sense the aura of heaven and earth that matches my realm. Moreover, I can only sense it, but I can't use it to improve my cultivation level. I thought I'm not inferior to Qin Shinsi and Xie Daoyun in terms of talent, but my normal cultivation speed is not as fast as theirs in any case, it should be caused by the aura. I can be invincible by relying on the system. I've combined my spirit and body. Although I combined my spirit and body by cutting corners, I still made it. Now I'll see. With the path in the main world and the transmutation stage path authority in Tao to world. How much power of path of sword of the main world I can stir up. This feeling, swords clank and the sound resonates with heaven and earth. It can't be wrong. The sword energy soared into the sky. It seems that another sword cultivator starts his path. Interesting. Although the path of sword clanks, the sword intent is imperceptible. In other words, can someone who hasn't reached level 7 of the pre-celestial stage be recognized by the path of sword? But, I have an appointment, and I can't break it. It's rare for someone to get the path of sword. I'm looking forward to seeing that guy in the future. Cultivation also includes mind cultivating. No matter how the outside world changes, I have to be firm in my heart. This is the highest level of mind cultivating. Wait, is that the sound of sword you mentioned before? Although it's a slight fluctuation, I think I felt it. You are born to be a talented sword cultivator. Even if you don't have enough cultivation base and swordsmanship, it's not surprising that you can feel it. You have to remember this feeling. Every time you feel it, it means there is a new powerful sword cultivator in the world. Wei, are you gonna compete with this man? We still have some business to do. He can make the sound of sword. I'm afraid he has reached level 7 of the pre-celestial stage and is not someone I can challenge now. However, sword cultivators will come to this mountain, one day to test their power. But this sound of sword is quite different from the one made by my master when he started his path, it's a bit strange. Could it be that this man's swordsmanship is very special and different from others? Maybe, I just feel that compared with the sound of sword made by my master, the sound of sword made by this guy seems to be weak. Great, master, you've become a sword master at the transmutation stage again. But why did you suddenly stop the abnormal weather caused by you? If I didn't stop, the new refined shell of the sky ceiling sword would explode. It's the first time that I've connected to the path of sword in the main world. I wanted to make a big noise, but I overestimated myself. What's more, not only the path of sword but also the supreme power in the main world is unusually heavy. Although I have relied on the transmutation stage cultivation base of the small world to help me combine my spirit and body, that's all I can do. If people at level 7 of the pre-celestial stage in the main world can easily drive the supreme power I sensed, I can only say that the transmutation stage power in the small world is far from that in the main world. Just like the difference between a world-class university and an unknown diploma mill. Although they are both universities nominally, there is a huge gap between them. Do you mean that it's just an inferior cultivation method that won't work? Of course not. It can be used to bluff. Besides, if I find better materials to further improve Sky Ceiling Sword and completely restore its power, it will be more powerful than now. But I don't think it will be far more powerful. After all, in the same circumstances, the power of the Path Authority is definitely far inferior to the power of combining spirit and body. I still need to continue to upgrade my cultivation method and improve my cultivation base. As for now, although the transmutation stage cultivation base may not increase my combat power a lot, people below level 7 of the pre-celestial stage can't see through my power when I use Path of Sword to carry my martial arts. What's more, with the new shape of the sky ceiling sword and the special ability after adding evil seed. I suddenly got a good idea for my trip to Shilan Kingdom. Maybe I can solve the expected trouble in one shot. Hula Town A few days ago, Several elders of the Shima sect besieged and killed Mr. Hong's disciples, so Mr. Hong led a group to kill the family members of those elders to avenge his disciples. It's an obvious trap, but he even tried to drag me in. What an idiot. Let them be. I'm so glad to see that pre-celestial masters die anyway, and when I lift the Shima oath, it's about time to take action as planned. But recently, that woman seemed to be quite suspicious of me. Should I say she is quite discerning? Although I have concealed something about the Shilan kingdom. It has nothing to do with the sect at all, which can be used to dispel her suspicion. Oh, it seems that my senior brother has arrived. Hey, little ghost, I sensed Dinchi downstairs. I knew it must come from you. You, you came so soon? 
I have always been punctual. Now that you are here, why you is in the room, right? Yes, but master said you couldn't get in yet, stay outside for. Why can't I get in given our relationship? Don't make a fuss here, girl. Why you, here I am to meet you. I knew Chinga wouldn't be able to stop you, just stand by the door, it will take me a while to get it done. Are you, disguising yourself as Shilan Wei? It's rare to see you do such a thing, do you need my advice? After all, Shilan Wei is a princess, and her makeup and jewelry are very particular. All right, come behind the screen and let me do it in front of you. I'll put on whatever jewelry you choose, okay? Um, he is using his true face. If I see his face, wouldn't I be killed on the spot? Ahem, I got it wrong. You are child thousand faces. You don't need my advice about pretending to be a woman. Glad you know that. If you have nothing to do, you can tell me the information about the Shilan Kingdom. After you and I parted in Shimo Dark Tunnel, I've never met anyone from the Keshwaxi sect or the Chiliang sect, so it's hard to obtain relevant information. But I know you. You probably wouldn't only rely on what I got, so tell me what you have got. You always try to take advantage of me. But speaking of what I've gained, I did receive the latest news from the informant a few days ago. About half a year ago, the Shilan kingdom went to war again. The two sides fought badly in the Iqua area for more than ten days and then ceased fire for unknown reasons. After that, the rebel army and the former royal family relied on the imperial city and Shilio city, an important border town, to confront each other. According to intelligence, quite a few mechanic puppets were sent into the palace openly. As for Shilio City, some people saw the disciples of the Chiliang sect showing up. Keshwaxi sect was originally located in the northwest, and the Chiliang sect in the southwest got the winding route leading to the eastern regions. Although it is not long after the end of the nine sects meeting, these two sects must have sent their disciples back to the Shilan kingdom. According to the information sent back, the Keshwaxi sect should be in the charge of their vice sect leader, and the Chiliang sect should be managed by their grand elder. I heard that these two have both reached the level 4 pre-celestial stage recently, so we need to be cautious. And our main opponent this time is the Keshluxi sect. Shilan Wei's mother was caught by the rebel leader Tulanja. He is ambitious but does things without any plans. He killed the royal family without scruples in the civil strife and then forcibly made the former queen his puppet in case of unstable rule. He himself took over the power as a regent, but he was unable to convince the public after all, which gave the nobles some room to fight back. It is not difficult to deal with this person. The problem is that the masters of the Keshwaxi sect are in the palace as well. It is not going to be easy if we want to force our way into the palace to save the queen. We can only outfox them. The Shimo oath was about saving Shilan Wei's mother. As long as we get that queen out, the oath would be resolved. So the most critical step in this plan is to take her out of the palace safely. You are talking as if you have already had a plan. You have said so much. But what about the Shilan treasury? Don't forget that we have more than one purpose. We have the key now, and we only need to know the location of the treasury. The treasury is the top secret of the Shilan royal family. It is difficult for my informant to gain access to such in-depth information. We can only rely on you to find it out in the guise of Shilan Wei. But you are right to some extent. I've got a plan. A long time ago, I instigated one of two Lange's shadow guards. The previous information about the Shilan kingdom came from her. Unfortunately, we are too far apart so it is often more than half a year before the information reaches me. We'll have to have a further investigation during this trip there. In the beginning, I intended to use this pawn to find the queen who Tu Lanja imprisoned and rescue her once and for all. However, it came to nothing, so I could only use Shilan Wei's identity to look into it according to the method you told me. Now that the queen has reappeared, I can use this pawn again. As long as she can get close to the queen, she can have a chance to save her. With Shilan Wei attracting all the forces, it is not difficult to rescue a puppet queen from the palace. Once the Xin Ma Oath is lifted, it doesn't matter if we get to the Shilan treasury. Yen Ryu is probably thinking about that. She said she would work with me in the Shilan kingdom. But actually, we have different purposes. If I force her to deal with the Shilan treasury, my hands will be tied. But I can't kick her away at this moment. It's better to take a step back and let her go to the palace to collect information so that I can start the plan alone as Shilan Wei. Your plan is surely fine, but there will inevitably be a risk of missing the opportunity if we get down to the Shilan treasury after we lift the Xinmo oath. Why don't we split up? You may go to the palace, and I will go to Shilio city. The Chiliang sect is far away from the imperial city, probably because they were at a disadvantage in the battle for the Shilan treasury. I'll go there to work with them as Shilan Wei and use them to fight the Keshwaxi sect for us. Work with them? 
but those two sects have obviously invested heavily in this place. Only with Shilan Wei's identity alone, how will you make them help you? What if they disagree and fight you? Won't you be exposed? Don't worry about that. If that really happens I will just fight back with one strike. It will be fine if they can take it, but if not, they will naturally be willing to have a good talk with me. Come on, you're taking this lightly? The Chiliang sect is made of cruel and vicious women. You want to scare them only with a strike? That is really... What the hell was that? I almost thought I've gone chi deviation. This sword is too evil. Wait a minute. The red sword, the strange aura, and the familiar words. Why you, you, are you pretending to be the disciple of the Wendao sect? I won't say that. But if the others make up a story like that, it's none of my business. The disciple of the Wendao sect is indeed mysterious. But the nine sex meeting was over not long ago, and Miss Wei has appeared in the Shimo Dark Tunnel before. Do you not worry that the people of the Chiliang sect and the Kashluxi sect have met her? First of all, I will never admit that I am a disciple of the Wendao sect. Secondly, I'm doing this just in case. It doesn't matter to me even if they don't believe my identity. This sword is quite evil and can be used as a deterrent. But if you fight with it, can it really press those pre-celestial masters' internal power and cause chi deviation? Without these features, it seems to be less convincing if you want to pretend to be a disciple of the Wenao sect. Do you believe I can cause the same effect without hurting them? Actually, I can even do better than a real disciple of the Wenao sect. It won't work only with Sky Sealing Sword, but what if the Finger of Flowery Swords is used through the Path of Sword? Well, Evil Sword Spirit with Sky Sealing Sword which has refined the Evil Seed. Ha! It's super powerful! and it costs 1 billion origin points to remove the side effect of the evil seed, but it doesn't mean its destruction has the same value. Those fighters with evil seeds in the boxing world were all fine since they refused the seeds reshaping. But for me, it's enough that even they're in a trance for a moment. Of course, I believe in your ability. But what if someone from the Wendao sect finds this out later? You can change your look as you like, so you don't need to care about this, but I... What are you afraid of? Didn't I tell you to split up? In the worst case, you can say that you are deceived as well. I don't care if you're on my long victim list. Besides, the royal blood to open the treasury needs to be collected from Shilan Wei. You've kept her corpse, and I don't bother to ask anything. You go to get it done before going to the imperial city. Take this, take the living corpse leech out by yourself. I'm flattered as you trust me so much this time. Trust is the foundation of cooperation. How much we can gain from this trip to the Shilan kingdom depends on our cooperation but we are acting separately, and in order to contact each other easily. I will have Chinger stay by your side. One month later the northwestern border of the Great Han Kingdom. I didn't expect it would take so much effort to create some blood with the living corpse leech, but I got Shilan Wei's blood anyway, so the key to the treasury is ready, well, why you should have arrived at this moment. Speaking of him, I wonder how many tricks he's kept up his sleeve. Can he imitate the cultivation techniques of all the nine evil sects? Not to mention other sections, with this little female ghost. He has no problem pretending to be a disciple of the Chongling sect. Little ghost, why are you still so afraid of me? Haven't you learned anything? I, I am not afraid of you. Master ordered me to keep an eye on you. All I should do is watch you do everything. Don't try to talk to me. Actually, I'm really curious about you. You're such a weak little thing. But it seems like you have some secret. Back then, you suddenly appeared by my side several times. How did you do that? Tell me about it. Don't come any closer. I'm not weak. I have become much stronger. Even if I can't defeat you, at least I'm better than Mei Ling. Oh, you are quite arrogant. How about Mei Ling have a duel with you? If you can beat her, I will never make fun of you anymore. And Mei Ling wants to play with Chinger, right? Well, bring it on. I have already been promoted, and I must be stronger than Mei Ling. It's better to bring my ghosts along after all. They are also part of my power. Why you must have his intention of keeping this little ghost by my side. Fortunately, she doesn't seem clever. I can use Mei Ling to figure out her strength, so that I may know Huayu's plan. Now I have the key to the treasury. Even if he isn't Ge Huayu and doesn't haunt by the Xinmo Oath, at least I don't need to worry that he will clean out the treasury and leave before saving the queen. Master, that bad woman is staring at the living corpse leech and sneering. She must be planning something. Is it really okay to leave the treasury key to her? It's fine, I know her, she wouldn't let me have the key, otherwise she would be completely useless. This is her limit, she will never make a concession even if she kicks me away and does it on her own. In that case, it's better to be generous. 
After all, with you there, I can be teleported to her at any time. Yenru you can't make any fuss. Got it, don't worry, master. I have deceived her with my acting skills and made her believe I'm a soft ghost. There will be no problem monitoring her. Hey, Mei Ling is ready, I'll go fight her. Fight? What the hell is she doing? Don't ruin my business. One on one? What the hell is this girl doing? According to Yen Ryu, Shilio City is the base of the old forces of the Shilan Kingdom. After the Imperial City and most of the territory were seized by the rebels, the forces that are still loyal to the former royal family took here as their base. For the past two years, they have been trying to find the remaining members of the royal family, and the portraits of Shilan Wei, the missing princess, have been posted everywhere in the city. It makes my plan a lot easier. Stop, take off your veil. Who are you? Where do you come from? What are you doing in town? I am a native of the Shilan Kingdom, and I have been wandering in the Great Han Kingdom for many years. I just want to go back to my hometown. As for my identity. Your face you are. Guess the portraits posted all over the city are enough to show my identity, huh? Princess Shilan Wei? Princess? He called this girl Princess? Isn't Princess Shilan Wei already dead? How? How is it possible? Everyone said that you've already, but your face, your face is exactly the same as the one in the portrait. This face, it can't be wrong. I have served Her Highness personally. I won't take the wrong person. Princess Shilan Wei is really back. Is she really the princess? So, the bloodline of the former king has not been cut off. Her Highness is back. The chaos in the Shilan Kingdom will surely end soon, Your Highness. The city lord must be very happy to know this news. Your Highness, please follow me to meet him. Well. Humph. All right, please take me to meet the lord here. The city lord's mansion, Shilio's city. Your Highness, please wait for a minute. I'm going to inform the city lord. Humph. This place has indeed been secretly controlled by the Chiliang sect. They have already arranged everything as soon as I got in town. Looks like they care so much about the only remaining member of the Shilan royal family. As the outsiders, however, they may only be suspicious of my identity as Shilan Wei. Right now, they are very likely hiding in the dark and watching me, just waiting to confirm if I'm the real Shilan Wei. As for who is going to confirm that? Of course, it's the Shilan noble who cooperates with them. Your Highness, you are really back. Shilan Che, noble of the Shilan Kingdom. This face, you are indeed the princess, that's great. Your Highness, I knew you must be alive. Back then, the rebels broke into the palace, and the former king and the others were all killed. But only you, your highness, snatched a hose to rush out of the siege, fled into the desert, and disappeared since then. But I've always firmly believed that you would be safe as you are determined and courageous. Now the facts speak for themselves. Thank goodness. Eh, your highness, why do you keep silent? Is it because of the long journey? I'm going to. Before this, I want to ask you something. Who are you? Your Highness, don't you recognize me? I'm Shilan Che, the Lord of Shilio City, from a collateral branch of the royal family. I'm your relative in some way. Shilan Che, Shilan Che, I don't have any impression of this name. You all call me Princess Shilan Wei, and I guess that this may be my identity. Pity that I have no memory of my past and everything about the Shilan Kingdom. No memory? Why would you say that, Your Highness? It's a long story. The other day, I was seriously injured and fell into a coma in the border area of the Great Han Kingdom. When I woke up, I lost all my memory. The person who saved me told me that he saved my life from a group of Shilan people. If he was right, I should have escaped from the Shilan Kingdom. Due to my memory loss at that time, I was instinctively scared of the Shilan Kingdom, so I dare not come back. The one who saved me took a fancy to my aptitude and intended to take me as his disciple, being homeless. I naturally worshipped him as my mater and followed him to the great Han kingdom. Since then, I have been practicing swordsmanship with my master. A few months ago, I suddenly woke up from a dream and recalled some sporadic memories. There were killings in the palace, and the rebels emerged and flooded in. I narrowly escaped from the imperial city. Although I didn't completely restore all memories, from that day on, a figure of a woman appeared in my mind from time to time. Whenever I looked at the jewelry I took with me, I felt an inexplicable desire to meet her again. That's why I bid farewell to my master and return to the Shilan kingdom from the great Han kingdom alone to figure out my past and find the person I can't forget. Ordinary disguises are easy, but according to the habit of child thousand faces, 
if he wants to be someone, he would go through a long period of understanding and analysis of that person and grasp all kinds of information to make his disguise perfect. Back then, every detail of monk excellence was recorded. However, Shilan Wei died suddenly. And there was no time for child thousand faces to get anything. In character record, only her appearance, voice characteristics, and other information required for the disguise are preserved. It is not difficult to make myself look like her, but there is no way to restore Shilan Wei's mannerisms. That being the case, it would be better to just pretend to lose all my memories. At least I can avoid their suspicion in case of any holes in my story. As long as there is an irrefutable explanation, no matter if they believe me right now, my plan will be. The person you miss must be Queen Saya, so even if you've lost your memories, the bond between you and your mother cannot be erased. This necklace must be a precious gift from your mother. Holy crap, they just buy it. I still have lots of stories to tell. Is everyone in the Shilan kingdom so simple and naive? But on second thought, it makes sense. The disguised technique of child thousand faces is beyond ordinary people's imagination. Appearing in front of them with this face is enough to prove my identity. I've been overthinking. Eh? Anyway, it's great you come back, your highness. As long as you open the Shilan treasury as soon as possible, and send away those two scourges, the chaos in the Shilan kingdom will eventually be settled. Scourges? You mean? My lord! Hey, what's the matter? Why did he suddenly fall? He? He was being long-tongued. Why did he call his partners scourges? That was wounding. Without our support behind the scenes, the entire Shilan kingdom would have already been occupied by rebels. Where could you stay without Chilio city in that case, your highness? Yao Zhu, an elder of the Chiliang sect, at the second level of the pre-celestial stage. Who are you? What did you do to him? Greetings, your highness. I'm Yao Zhu from the Chiliang sect. I'm not to blame for this. It's all because the city lord talked too much. Our sect only wants to cooperate with the Shilan royal family for mutual benefits. But he tried to slander us in front of you. My boy got irritated, so he avenged me. Please forgive him, your highness, but then again. We made an agreement with the city lord that he would reward us with the Shilan treasury for helping him fight against the rebels. Because the royal family of the Shilan kingdom was all dead, he was unable to open the treasury and fulfill the promise. But you just came back in time, your highness. As long as you cooperate, the rest will be much easier. Cooperate? How dare you? Your highness, calm down. She is a member of an evil sect, and she is vicious. The city lord could do nothing but only obey them. You're finally back. Please don't. How rude. How dare you intervene as a mere maid. Yet, she is right. My sect, an evil sect from the great Han kingdom, is not something that the mere Shilan kingdom can offend. Don't waste your time on the feeble martial arts you learn from a nobody. Do as I say. It would be best for you and the Shilan kingdom. Is an evil sect from the great Han kingdom that great? Eh? Mantra of Insect God Golden Scorpion Summoning My master once told me, as long as I hold my sword in my hand, I don't need to be afraid of anyone from the nine evil sects in the Great Han Kingdom. How could it be? My internal power turned to hurt me? What on earth did I just see? It was beyond description, was it an illusion? Or some kind of poison that can make me mad? This is incredible. I just stabbed her and attacked her mentally with the evil will. Then, I used finger of flowery swords through path of sword, so that Miss Yan's sword's spirit and the new sky ceiling sword's power could get through her shield of internal power. And then, I controlled her own internal power to hit her with the help of Yao's sword's spirit. It looks easy for me to do that despite its complexity since I hardly used my own internal power. With no big movements, it worked well, though. It looks like I could easily beat a pre-celestial master from a major sect with just one blow. What kind of technique on earth did you just use? It's none of your business. Detoxify them and get out of the Shilan kingdom you can survive only in this way. You think you can tame the Chiliang sect just by defeating me? Makes sense. But what if I hang your body from the city gate? Guess that will be a clear sign saying you guys are not welcome here no matter how powerful you are. Why do we have to go to extremes, princess? Just calm down. It is negotiable, no? Yao Zhu is too weak to see through your real background. Well, look at your red sword and your arrogant tone, and you could even suppress our internal power. Are you coming from the Wenao sect, the greatest evil sect in the Han Empire? Huili, Grand Elder of the Chiliang sect, 
at level 4 pre-celestial stage. Well, I'll say that once again. It's none of your business. No, it has something to do with me. If you really come from the Wendau sect, you are my peer since we both come from evil sections. This must be something wrong with her sword. When I just twined the countless spider silk around it, it sent a chill down my spine somehow. Besides, why couldn't I feel any power over her when she was giving such a powerful blow? I can't see through her real realm. Does she use some unique technique of the Wenao sect? But if not, we won't let go of you given your arrogant remarks. Let me try feeling her out again. What do you want then? Stand up for your peer and take my blow? What's this? She seems so powerful. I can't feel any power on her. But my internal power seems to be suppressed somehow. And her aura even made my hair stand on end. Is this the legendary pressure that the technique of the Wendao sect could cause on people from the other evil sects? So, she's really a disciple from the Wendao sect? Calm down, please, I never meant that. It was our fault for stirring up the conflict. Let's make peace and I'll handle this. I can't gain anything if I win, but it will be embarrassing if I lose, never mind. I'll make a concession for now, and it may even be a good thing for us. Handle? How? Looks like I'm pretty lucky that they've never seen a real disciple of the Wenao sect, bravo. The new sky ceiling sword was just finished so it lacks power. When I use my other techniques through Path of Sword, I can hide my power thus to hide my real realm. But I can just use 80% of my strength at most. I may even lose if I don't want to expose my real identity and give up the Shilan treasury. Anyway, the evil sword spirit matches the evil seed so well. With all my power, the evil will in the sky ceiling sword just complemented the evil sword spirit so well, making me even look like the evil god, superior to her, which intimidated her. It won't work if I fight her since I'm not really that powerful. Though. Well. Wheelie. I don't know how you have the nerve to call me. Didn't I tell you to treat this city lord with civility? How dare you take it upon yourself to poison them? Now get out of here and get your own punishments according to the rules of our sect. I'm sorry for all this. I went back for the nine sects meeting and thus handed over the affairs of Shilio city to Yao Zhu. But I didn't expect her to do such a reckless thing. I'm so... Drop the act. My master has told me that none of the pre-celestial disciples would be absent from the nine sex meeting. How could she stay here for temporary management at that time? Just cut to the chase and detoxify them. Please hear me out. Things differ in every sect. How could I lie about such a thing? Besides, the poison on them has long been removed. Please rest assured. In that case, I will let go of you. Get out of the Shilan kingdom with your men. I'll kill whoever from the Chiliang sect shows up here from now on. Hold on, we cooperated with the city lord and got into a win-win situation. As the result, we could stay here, and now you want us to leave? You want to put Shilio's city in danger again? Cooperation under threat of poison? You reached the so-called agreement with the city lord just by force. As for the chaos of the Shilan kingdom, since I'm back, I will surely handle all this for my people. Sounds good. But are you sure you can save the queen on your own? It won't be hard given my power. I'm afraid it's not as easy as you think. The rebels occupying the imperial city now got the Keshluxi sect, the fourth evil sect in the Han Empire. Behind them, your sect's technique can suppress that of the other evil sects, but I'm afraid it won't work on mechanical puppets. Besides, the Keshluxi sect is more powerful than my sect and is ideally situated in the northwest. If they are determined to fight you, you can hardly beat them yourself since they'll have constant reinforcements. But if you continue to cooperate with us, things will be easier. Anyway, despite the two sects' intervention, the chaos in the Shilan kingdom is fundamentally coalesced by the Shilan treasury. Without it, the Keshwaxi sect won't stay here anymore. As long as you cooperate with us and open the Shilan treasury, we guarantee that we can make the Keshwaxi sect believe the treasures have got lost and thus get out of your country, and we only need one of the items in the treasury as payment. Get your country back at the price of only one item. What a good deal. Very well, she hesitates as I thought. Despite her identity as a disciple of the Wenao sect, she's just a young girl in her early twenties who lost her homeland and memory. With a little comfort, it's not difficult to win her over. Nailed it. Now I completely seize the initiative. The major stumbling block this time is the two evil sects. If only their level four pre-celestial masters were sent here. It's not difficult to handle one of the two sects only. But it would be troublesome to fight two at the same time. And if I offered to cooperate with one of them, they would stay alert or even plot against me. The best way is to make one of them offer to cooperate with me instead. 
Both of them would want to win me over as long as I seem to be easily manipulated. The best hunter always pretends to be easy prey. The Chilean sect would ask me to open the Shilan treasury in exchange since they think I'm eager to save the queen and regain power over the Shilan kingdom. In this case, no matter which of them knows about the location of the entrance of the treasury, the Chilean sect will try their best to take me there. As long as I can open the treasury, I'll be close to getting it. I need to talk to the city lord about this first to see if you are trustworthy. Sure, we'll get out of here for the time being. The city lord knows how to contact us if you make up your mind. Besides, stop calling me the disciple of the Wanao sect. My master must have got a reason for not telling me my sect's name. But I don't know the so-called Wanao sect, and it has nothing to do with me. Got it? Guess that's why the Wanao sect can stay mysterious. We'll keep it a secret, and I'll call you by your status, your highness. That's the whole story. I didn't expect you to be so powerful after your cultivation these years, your highness. It's a good thing for the Shilan kingdom. I've taught them a lesson, but I still can't figure out what is going on here. Why are the Keshwaxi sect and the Chiliang sect here? And what is the so-called Shilan treasury? Why does it seem like everyone's here for it? I only know a little about this. Back then, two Lanja revolted, broke into the palace, and killed almost all of the royal family. Later, rumor had it that a lot of cultivators from an evil sect helped the rebels. Not long after the fall of the imperial city, the Chilean sect came to us and claimed that they would help the royal family destroy the rebels as long as they could get the Shilan treasury. But the royal family had all died except you at that time, and no one could open the treasury, so the negotiation reached a deadlock. According to that woman from the Chilean sect, only the blood of the members of the royal family can open the treasury. Now that I'm here, what about we do as they say and get the two evil sects out of here? Do you think things will work out in that case? Sure, we can solve the problem once and for all in that case. The Shilan treasury will only get us into trouble if we stick to it since it has been exposed. But we need to wait for a while before opening it. Wait for a while, why? You may not know this due to your memory loss, your highness. The Shilan treasury is actually a mysterious ancient mausoleum. It's not located in our country. It's just that its entrances are connected to some mysterious space in our country. Huh, so the Shilan treasury is more like an independent small world. There are two entrances. One is located in the royal secret chamber, known as the Gate of the Sun, while another is located in the desert, known as the Gate of the Moon. The treasury will open once the royal blood touches either of them. The Gate of the Sun is always there in the palace, which has been under the control of the rebels and the evil sect, so we can't get there. We can only try to open the Gate of the Moon, which only appears every thirty days, and this is what the Chiliang sect wants. Then when will the Gate of the Moon appear again? Unfortunately, it had just appeared last night, so it will take a whole month for it to appear again. Just my luck, I almost made it. Anyway, it turned out there were two entrances to the treasury. No wonder the two evil sects could remain in a stalemate here. But without a key, what's the point of guarding the entrance? There may be some other reason. However, now that I know where the entrances are and have the living corpse leech as my key, it seems that I don't need to wait for this long. Don't worry, despite my memory loss. I'll take care of every single problem of the Shilan kingdom since I'm back. I'll give it a try when Yen Ryu arrives at the Imperial City in a few days. I'll get the treasures and leave soon if everything goes just well. So, your highness, are you going to deal with the evil sex head-on? It's too. Don't worry, I won't be so unwise to do that. If they can't defeat me, they may hurt the civilians. I just wanted to intimidate them. After all, working with the Chiliang sect is still the best way for the Shilan kingdom. I'll go to the Imperial City to confirm if my mother is safe and meet another evil sect. You can use recuperation as an excuse to ignore the Chiliang sect for a few days before talking about cooperation with them. Ha, huh, your highness, are you going to the Imperial City alone? It is too dangerous. Please think twice before you act. I know what I am doing. Don't worry, and have a good rest. Your highness. Even if her highness has lost her memory, she is still as resolute, kind, and caring as before. If Her Highness hadn't gone through that event but come back earlier, perhaps the situation would be very different now. It's just a pity. For the current Shilan kingdom, Her Highness still came back too late. Looks like this little princess only fixes her aim on the peace of her country and the safety of the people, which makes it easier to deal with her. Grand Elder, shall we report this matter to the sect and ask for more manpower? No need for that. There is nothing but Shilan Che got one more support but he has already established cooperation with us. As long as the interests remain unchanged, 
it won't affect the whole picture no matter how strong his support is. I will explain it to the sect leader. After all, there is an agreement between the two sects. If someone at level 5 of the pre-celestial stage from both sects gets into the game, it will be more difficult to deal with the Keshwaxi sect. Just let Shilan Wei do what she wants, with her personality. I suppose those stubborn blockheads of the Keshwaxi sect won't get anything out of her. By the way, how is Yao Zhu's injury? The third elder suffered a minor injury, and the life-weaving bug healed her, but she said that she was uneasy these days, every time she closed her eyes. She felt greatly terrified. She still needs some time to recuperate, otherwise she's worried that her Tao would be damaged. That's ridiculous. Did she psyche herself out? But I need to thank her for acting with me. I will go to see her in person later. I see. So you've decided to work with the Chiliang sect? But I think they are up to no good. They must plot against you behind your back. Indeed. I'm afraid that Shilan Che had already gone over to the Chiliang sect and made up his mind to work with them. Huh, isn't he an old minister of the Shilan royal family? Is he also deceiving you? When Shilan Wei showed up, this city lord was only shocked at it, which was not what an old minister should be. But it doesn't matter. Whether he helped the Chiliang sect test me or he will go against me in the future, those are just some trivial tricks that won't affect the overall situation. As long as we get the thing in the treasury, all their schemes will be in vain. When that time comes, even if he has the intention of becoming the king of the Shilan kingdom, it has nothing to do with me. By the way, where are you and Yan Ryu now? It seems that it will take us another two or three days to reach the imperial city. That bad woman is going to meet her informant outside the city first, so as not to be found by the Keshwaxi sect in the city. She is very cautious but also too conservative. As long as we get the thing, so what if we are spotted? Another two or three days, right? Then I'll slow down and enjoy the scenery along the way. Huh, master, are you going to the imperial city too? Why not stay there? I can use teleportation magic circle to get you to the imperial city when I arrive. If people find out I can get from one city to another in a flash, what will they think of it? It doesn't matter what others will think. After all, I will dispose of the identity of Shilan Wei after it's done. But Yen Ryu, I finally gained her trust. If she suspects me again, I'll be forced to kill her. I got it. Master, you are thoughtful. So don't tell Yen Ryu that I'm going to the imperial city for now. Keep an eye on her before I arrive lest she begin to play tricks when she is about to reach the Imperial City. Got it. I will get the job done for you. Um, I feel a little uneasy when you put it like that. Three days later, suburbs of the Shilan Imperial City. Oh, is this the Shilan Imperial City? It is indeed much more magnificent than Shilio City. So, Chinger, where is Yen Ryu? That bad woman is sleeping in the courier station. I didn't alarm her when I came out. Why are hiding your face? Ching are you. What's wrong with your face? I was wondering what was happening outside. Turns out it's you. Why you? What's going on? When did you? What's going on? I should ask you that. Yen Ryu. I left Ching to you, yet you bullied her like this? I will teach you a lesson. Calm down, why you? Calm down. It's not what you think. I didn't hurt Ching She's been with you only. Who else could it be if it wasn't you? Well, it began three days ago. The other day, Chinga wanted to fight Mei Ling on a whim. I thought they were both ghosts, and there was no harm in sparring, so I let Mei Ling play with Chinga. Although Mei Ling won, Chinga didn't get hurt, I thought it was over. But Chinga didn't accept defeat, since then, she fought Mei Ling whenever she got the opportunity. You know Mei Ling is mindless, and she would fight back when getting hit. Gradually, Mei Ling was familiar with the moves of Chinga and seemed to take the fighting as a habit. Since yesterday, she's beaten Ching. Ahem, sparred with Ching on a regular basis. That's to say Ching got injured, because she is weak yet addicted to fighting? But, but if I get more time, next time, next time I will definitely defeat Mei Ling. Come on, Mei Ling is from the Chongling sect. She is a powerful ghost at fighting. What you have is only the ability to aid. You are for sure no match for her. I'll get you some reliable cultivation techniques later. Now behave yourself and get some rest. With Mei Ling around, Ching would be distracted as long as Yen Ryu played a trick, and in the end, she failed to keep an eye on her. Forget it, Ching is innocent and not fit for spy work, I'll deter Yen Ryu from playing tricks by myself. Let's set this matter aside and back to our business. Have you gotten Shilan Wei's blood ready? Well, of course I have, but what are you going to do? Didn't we agree to take action after we gather information and make a plan? No need to waste time, 
before all the plans are set, let's try to take action directly, which is the most efficient way. Take action directly? You mean? The city lord of Shilio City firmly believes me and has told me the location of the entrance to the treasury. Tonight is the right time to check it out with you. With your five elements shift, I believe you can easily avoid the patrol and sneak into the palace, right? Two hours later. You are back, how is it? Well, I did find the stone gate that is the entrance to the treasury. I didn't expect that the so-called Shilan treasury is an independent space. No wonder I couldn't find any trace of it before. However, similar stone gates can be found throughout the palace, like in the courtyard or on the wall. Looks like someone has deliberately mixed the fake with the real one. I couldn't distinguish them in a short time. Why did you check the unguarded stone gates? The real one must be heavily guarded by the Keshwaxi sect. Do I have to remind you of such a simple thing? Easy, why you? I thought of that too and used that method to search for it. It's just, I'm afraid the result would disappoint you. There is indeed a place that is heavily guarded. The building there is bizarre. I couldn't sneak into it with the five elements shift. As if something blocked me. Moreover, I just found out that during the half a year when there was no intelligence, the Keshwaxi sect has placed many mechanic puppets in the city. I'm afraid that even if we secretly open the treasury, we can't take the power source stones out of town. You were blocked? Haven't you boasted your five elements shift? Why couldn't it work this time? Did you deceive me on purpose? I dare not deceive you. The five elements shift is kind of an odd skill for other sects, but when it comes to the Keshwaxi sect, it's not surprising to have such a result. The Keshwaxi sect is good at making mechanisms with cold iron and winter wood. These two materials have an innate ability to block one's internal power and five element circulation. That's why the Keshwaxi sect can easily create a barrier that is tightly closed and can deactivate the five elements shift. I see, you couldn't get into the puppet tortoise's stomach with the five elements shift back then. It seems that I underestimated this game. Good, I should keep going to make him give it up. If he gets the Shilan treasury, he will very likely leave me. If so, I will have to lift the Shinwa oath while fighting the two evil sects on my own. Never mind, since it couldn't work, let's use another way. Give me the living corpse leech. I will do it myself. Well, why you? Actually, you don't have to. Don't say anything like you don't have to rush. You and I are just into the game. The Keshwaxi sect hasn't guarded against us, so it's the biggest chance for us to snatch the treasury. As long as we get the treasury, the two evil sects will go back with nothing, and it also will be easier for us to deal with the Shinwa Oath. Ryu, don't be a drag at this moment. That's a nice thing to say, yet no one knows how the thing will become after we get the treasury. What if the Keshwaxi sect goes mad? How should I save the queen then? But right now, I can't fall out with him, and he knows that. If you said so, how can I let you down? I'm wondering how you are going to sneak into the palace. Sneak into? When did I say that? Huh. The so-called sneaking into is to avoid being discovered by the guards along the way. Isn't it the same if I dismantle all the mechanic puppets that stand in my way? Why you are you going to? All my techniques can be used through the path of sword. Since I try to break into the city, I will choose the most destructive way for sure. Immortal dominating punches into the sword. Dominating sword strike. Extreme dark demon dragon break. I can only use 80% of Immortal Dominating Punch's power when using it through the Path of Sword. However, with the thrust caused by Fleeting Sword, that blow even caused more damage. That is almost the best I can do so far. But even that blow didn't get through this building. According to Yen Ryu, the Gate of the Sun should be inside. Has the Keshwaxi sect reinforced the wall? Huh. What? A Puppet Beast. Heavenly Whale Dominating Sword Shield. Ha. Huh. It looks like it's just a little smaller than the puppet tortoise. The Keshwaxi sect even uses such a huge weapon to guard the treasury. Right? This is their familiar ground. Huh. That's the gate of the sun, I see. The giant mechanic snake was coiled up in the room just now, blocking the entrance of the treasury just like an iron box. No wonder Yen Ryu failed. So this snake must be their trump card. If I can kill it, I can largely weaken the Keshwaxi sect's power here. However... In my experience of fighting the puppet beasts, it'll take long to fight such a big snake with immortal dominating punches. The puppet guards in the imperial palace have gathered and I must end this as soon as possible. Finger of flowery swords. Evil swords spirit fuse. 
with internal power as your shield, huh? Then let my evil sword spirit break it. What the hell? It's so hard, even though I broke through its shield, it could take my blow with its hard material. Even the level 4 pre-celestial puppets back in the Shimo Dark Tunnel couldn't do this. If I didn't see the rebounded sword energy of Withering Strike crushing other subordinate puppets, I would think my move didn't work at all. It's said that it's hard for the new to transcend the old, but it looks like the Keshwaxi sect has transcended the former Shimo sect in terms of mechanic puppets. Its power is no less than that of immortal dominating punches. I can't break free by force for the time being. But I can't use six Moro demons to make it as well, as it's easy to tell it's something like the mantra of hexatic senses, which is not conducive to my disguise as the disciple of the Wanao sect. It resisted the power of immortal dominating punches with its shield of internal power, and withstood the evil sword spirit's attack with its hard shell. The Keshwaxi sect's puppet beast is indeed much more powerful than Su Min's. There is only one way to get rid of it quickly. Demonic Art of Moro, the evil smell of Rosefinch Fuse. Great, Rosefinch Fire can burn one's path in that small world after all. It doesn't work that well in the main world, but it could burn the puppet's spirit and short it out. Rosefinch Fire just restricts the Keshwaxi sex techniques. However, without the power of heaven and earth in the small world, it's way too energy consuming. If I fight someone powerful and use this move frequently, it'll be easy for me to exhaust my power before it restores. The good thing is that I've got rid of the toughest enemy, now I can. What? Another bunch of snakes? What's wrong with the Keshluxi sect? How many puppets have been sent here? What's going on? The snake I just shorted out recovered so soon, how come it could recover? I'm in real trouble now, it's hard to get into the gate of the sun with these snakes that can recover at any time getting in the way even when I use all my power. Besides, after all this time, the pre-celestial masters of the Keshwaxi sect have been alerted. Who are you? How dare you break in without permission and destroy our puppets? Yan Shirgu, the deputy sect leader of the Keshwaxi sect, at level 4 pre-celestial stage. Without permission? Do I even need your permission to enter my own home? You bandits. Shame on you. Your own home? You are the runaway princess of the Shilan kingdom? No. Your sword and your techniques can't come from such a tiny country. Who the hell are you? You just asked pretty much the same question as that hag from the Chiliang sect, and my answer is the same it's none of. I don't give a damn about your answer. I'll figure it out after catching you. The snake I just knocked out has fully recovered as I expect. I don't see the point of wasting time here even if I expose my real identity and try my best. This fight may take a long time and still hang in the balance. This doesn't make sense at all. I'd better get out of here for now. You want to run away? Did you get my permission? Permission? Come on, I'm being kind enough to let go of you and leave now. Otherwise, how many blows do you think you can take? Path of Sword. It's the supreme power. No way, she didn't even need to talk with us if she had the supreme power of combining her spirit and body. However, even if she hasn't reached level 7 of the pre-celestial stage, it's hard for me to handle such a powerful move. Puppet Nine-Headed Snake, Unlock. Puppet Mechanism, Bloody Thunder. Metal Element, Supreme Eagle Sword. Your Highness, this move is indeed far beyond my expectation, but I'm still capable of handling it. If you really want to fight, you may not be the winner. Damn, given her power, I'm afraid the Puppet Nine-Headed Snake may get destroyed even if I can win the fight gotta find a way to force her to give up. Well, your highness, may I know if you want a real duel? You guys helped the rebels and messed around in the Shilan kingdom. I should have killed you here. But the people in this city may get hurt if the fight goes on. Listen up, I'm Princess Shilan Wei, the only lineal heir to the throne. I'm here today to teach you a lesson. If you don't want me to stab you with my sword, pack and go back to the Han Empire in one month. To those who support the rebels, I will forgive what you've done if you surrender. If my mother gets hurt before I take back the city, I'll definitely kill all of you with my sword. Her mother? And she even used such powerful sword energy with that red sword. Could she be? Sir, are we just letting her go like this? She must know some special technique to hide her real realm, so I can't tell her real strength. But at least I know she won't be inferior to me. I'm afraid I can't hold her back with the unfinished puppet nine-headed snake even if I try my best. Glad that she wants to leave now it won't do us any good to pursue her. Impose martial law in the whole city. Let two Lange's informants take action and check the critical areas inside and outside the imperial city thoroughly. 
Don't let anyone mess around in the chaos. Yes, sir. Meanwhile in Peace Cottage, Iqua. Shilan Wei? You mean it was the former princess who escaped from the Shilan kingdom many years ago that caused the abnormity tonight? Or, it was someone who pretended to be the princess, God intervened in the chaos, and wanted to risk for great fortune? Interesting. Obviously, she wouldn't be at level 7 of the pre-celestial stage. To be more precise, she wouldn't even reach level 5 as she left just for Yan Shurgu and his men. But she could have that power before being able to combine her body and spirit. Could she be a chosen talented seed? Well, we even saw such an unexpected chosen talented seed in the story we had set for the Shilan kingdom. What a surprise.